My name is Omar Ismail. Uh, I'm from Darfur, born and raised in Al-Fashir. And this past weekend, I've done the uh, fasting for Darfur. The reason I'm doing it is not just that I'm from Darfur, but it is important that anybody, anywhere in the world, should support people who are going through what the Darfurians are going through today. But particularly I'm doing this because I'm Sudanese and I would like to see the Sudanese people do it as well. Because I understand that lots of uh, Sudanese who are not from Darfur sympathize with what is happening in Darfur. But because they are under this regime in Khartoum that will not allow them to express that feeling, they are not allowed even to write articles in the, in the newspapers or they are not allowed to have um, uh, demonstrations to talk about Darfur and to support the people of Darfur. So there is a way of supporting the people of Darfur and make yourself feel like you are connecting to them and making them feel like they, they understand what, what you are expressing. And by doing this, because it's, it's personal, you sit there and you fast and you tell the person next to you that you are fasting because you are supporting the people of Darfur. The government of Sudan cannot take this fasting away from you. This is the reason that I'm doing it. I'm urging everybody who watches this to go out there and to do it so that the people of Darfur cannot feel alone because I have visited the refugee camps. I've been with these refugees. I've seen the people who are in situations like this around the world in different places where I work uh, uh, to elevate the, 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 the suffering of, of people and to minimize the impact of things like you know, mass atrocities and genocides and stuff. People like this feel really alone. They feel at one time frustrated and feel like the world left them and feel like nobody cares about them. When you do this, and communicate it to them, and they understand that you are doing it because you are supporting their cause, they, you don't know how good they will feel. It has got a tremendous impact. And we as people in this universe, it's a, it, it was some people call it the global village, is becoming, trust me, smaller than a village today. So we should feel like the people of Darfur, and tomorrow support the people of Congo and support the people of um, Uganda and support the people in uh, many other parts of the world where they are going through um, different and difficult experiences. Thank you very much.